since being implemented, Facebook Live has been used for information and entertainment, but it's also being used to spread violence and hatred. Recently, a 15-year-old girl was gang raped during a live Facebook broadcast while 40 people watched and not one of them called the cops or did anything to stop the assaults. And in January, thousands of people watched a live stream of a mentally ill man who was kidnapped, brutally attacked, and tortured by a gang. This brings up lots of questions about safe viewing and the future of live broadcasts. When Mashable reached out to Facebook to see how they felt about this situation, they responded, This is a hideous crime and we do not allow this kind of content on Facebook. We take our responsibility to keep people safe on Facebook very seriously and will remove videos that depict sexual assault and are shared to glorify violence. Facebook also recently put out a press release explaining how they combat violence on Facebook Live saying, we understand the unique challenges of live video, we know it's important to have a responsible approach, that's why we make it easy for people to report live videos to us as they're happening. We have a team on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, dedicated to responding to these reports immediately. And if you're wondering how people could just watch these atrocious crimes and violence and do nothing, well, there's something called the bystander effect or bystander apathy. It refers to cases in which individuals do not offer any means of help to a victim when other people are present. What is believed to happen is that people transfer responsibility to others in a group. So if there's a crowd or a group of people, say 40, watching a live video of a girl being raped, that person is gonna think all the other people are gonna do something about it and call the cops when that's not actually the case. This is exemplified so clearly in a tweet by The Don who said, pretty sure I just witnessed domestic violence on Facebook Live, but that's none of my business. And Marie tweets, Facebook has a responsibility to mankind, we all do. Stop violence and terrorism, screw freedom of speech if it physically hurts. So what can we do as a community to make sure these types of things don't ever happen? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.